Okay, did you finish up that application? Um, good job. Now, Mrs. Boffman is going, I am so excited that I get to do this today, but I have to tell you a couple things. I'm in my basement. I don't have my dry erase tools. I don't have my document camera. It's going to be a little rough, so bear with me, and let's try to get through some um, math together. You are starting a new module, and believe it or not, it's the last module in second grade. Woohoo! We did it, um, and you've done a very nice job. I'm very proud of your hard work in math this year. Um, so, we're going to be talking about shapes and fractions and we're gonna be learning the names of different shapes and how we can, um, they have some special names which are kind of fun to learn how to say. And even if you wanna challenge yourself, learn how to spell them, cause some of them can be a little bit tricky. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about two special words. And I, um, I'm gonna write them up here. Did you see my new messages this week? Today we're gonna to be talking about sides. And we're going to be talking about angles. And those are our two math words that you're going to be hearing me say a lot today. And so keep that in mind. And I'll show you what a side is and what an angle is in a minute. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about in math. And I have a question for you. I know that we have been linking um, sprints to your slides every day. And I'm wondering how many of you have been practicing them? These are really, really important for third grade. And as we're getting settled, it's really important that you practice. And these are some great um, tools and links. Now, if you say, and mom says, well, we don't have a printer at home. Boys and girls, you can click on a link, leave it on your computer, get a piece of paper, have mom or dad set the timer on their phone or on the microwave or on the stove. You get one minute and let's see how many you can do. And then there is, um, there's that link and there will be the side B. Remember how I used to do these? You guys loved them. And on side B, you're going to go ahead and um, do it again. And what's your job? Remember? It's always to increase. Let's see if you can increase by three or four or five. It might be a little bit trickier if you haven't been doing these, but let's let's start giving them a try as we wrap up May here. I think it will be um it will be good for some of you. You really need to see even if you've been practicing extra math, it's important to see if your extra math is sticking in your brain, and this is a good way to test it. So just a little friendly reminder: don't forget to practice those sprints too. Okay, so Mrs. Boffman said that today in math, we're going to be talking about sides, a side. This is the side of my body. I'm going to put an S here. And we're going to be talking about angles. And I'm going to tape, this is kind of funny because it's my basement. I'm going to tape this chart up and I'm going to hope I'm going to move my camera a little closer to because I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, nah, I don't think it's terrible. We're looking, this is called chart one. And what we're doing today is we're taking a look at our pictures and we're um, talking about what is a side and what is an angle. And Mrs. Boffman is going to trace over as I talk and maybe that will help you. It'll be a little bit um, brighter, I'm hoping. So I bet you're looking at this shape and I bet a word has popped into your brain. Do you have it there? I bet you do. Did you say a triangle? Good job. So we're not really talking about the names today, but what we're talking about is how many sides do they have and how many angles do they have? Sides are where are the two um, pieces that come together to form an angle. Just like I did with these dry erase markers. I put them together, the red is a side, the green is a side, and where they meet is called an angle. So if I go ahead and I look up here, I see that this is a side, this is a side, 
and this is a side. I have three sides. And then right here, and we draw it like this, these are our angles. And if you look at each of my shapes here, you're gonna notice that they have one, two, three sides. And this has one, two, three sides. And this has, oops, I went out of line there, two and three sides. Now I can go back in and count the angles, and that's where the sides meet. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those all have three sides and three angles. Okay, can you get a piece of paper and can you draw me three objects that have three sides and three angles? Good, and while you do that, I'm gonna switch out my chart. And I wonder if you can guess what we're gonna talk about next. Let's see, go ahead, draw yours, and I'm gonna fix mine. Okay, are you all done? If not, go, go ahead and pause if you need to. So, we have another chart, it's called chart two. And what this one is showing us is that all of these shapes have four sides and four angles. But, hmm, I'm looking at these and I'm saying to myself, well, this one I know, and I even know the name of it, and I can count the one, two, three, four sides, and yet I see those four angles, just like you said, there's one, two, three, four, and here are those angles. Yep, Mrs. Boffin's right. But look at these guys, they're kind of cool. They're still shapes that have four sides and four angles, and they are different, and they're a little bit interesting and a little bit creative. This one has one, two, three, four. This one has one, two, three, four. And this one has one, two, three, four. And again, where those sides, so this is a side and this is a side and where they meet is called the angle. And that would be, and I pointed in here because these are two sides and they're meeting here. Here's an angle, here's an angle, here's an angle. So it's one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, and four. Okay, it's your turn, and why don't you go ahead, and on that same piece of paper, don't be wasteful, go ahead and draw me a couple of four-sided, four-angled figures. And while you do that, I'm going to change out my chart. Go ahead. Have you noticed something here, and can you anticipate or guess? what I'm gonna be hanging up here next. I bet you can, you guys are so smart. Okay, here's our next one. And, oh, there we go, guys. I'm gonna make it a little bit closer to the, um, a little closer to the wall, maybe that'll help. So, same thing, we're counting and we're looking at the shapes. What are you noticing? Well, I'm noticing this one is really long and it has a different shape at the bottom. And I'm noticing this one kind of caves in a little bit. And these seem to be a little larger. Well, if you're looking at chart three, it's saying that it is five sides and five angles. Well, let's start our counting. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five and here where those where those sides meet are our angles. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and the last one is one, two, three, four, and five. And then at each place where they meet, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Those are our angles. Okay, 
You know what I'm gonna ask you to do? Your turn, can you make me? And you know what? If you don't wanna draw it on paper, get out those crayons again. See if you can make a five-sided figure with five angles. So either do it on your paper or get out those crayons or um, toothpicks and try again. Okay, you go ahead and I am gonna hang up our last chart here. And I bet, I bet you can figure it out. Okay. Here we go. Have you guessed it now? How many? Well, we've done, let's see, we've done three, four, five, so this one must be six. And I think you guys are so smart and you are right. So, here we go again. We're counting the number of sides and the number of angles. Sides are the straight pieces and where they meet is my angle. And that's how I count them. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And look at all these angles here. There's a lot, there you go. This one's kind of fun. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Count your angles. Remember the angles are where the sides meet. And go ahead, if these are kind of hard for you to draw, use your crayons or your toothpicks. Have some fun with it. Kind of do some building and get your brain thinking in a different way. That's the part I like about this math module is we're not going to be doing a lot, although we will do some. We're not going to be doing a lot of addition and subtraction. We're going to use our math brain in a different way and it's going to, we're going to get to be a little bit creative and think a little bit differently. So it's a nice way to, um, it's a nice change for math. So go ahead and do that and then come on back and we're gonna wrap things up. Look at, I even, I've even got a little eraser here. Does it remind you of school? I hope so. Ooh, I'm a little bit wiggly, sorry. Okay, so today in math, we talked about sides and angles and, we, and I showed you how to find them. So in your problem set, you are gonna be doing just that today. You are gonna be taking a look at sides and angles counting them up. Remember, the sides are different, but where they meet, that's called an angle, and I count it as one, this is one angle where the two sides meet. Um, and something is really neat is um, angles, and I'm gonna show you this, angles can, um, this, is a small angle, and this is a really large angle. Look at the difference. But they are, in fact, both angles. So you can go ahead and um, practice with your um, tools, your toothpicks or your crayons or whatever you use today, and you could make some small angles or you could make some larger angles. And remember, where two sides meet, that is the... Um, those are the sides, and where they meet is called the angle. Okay, my friends, you have some problems set to work on today, and um, I know that you are going to do a great job. Put your thinking caps on. Um, use your tools if you need to, and um, lucky you, I'm going to be back. I'm going to teach through this module. I'm going to do um, a lot of the math teaching, and I love that. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye.